Good day everyone, my name is Maria Kondzielska and welcome to Poland Daily Culture. In this series of programs I'll be talking to Julia Gintraska, daughter of the noted Polish songwriter and singer Przemysław Gintraski. Julia, thank you for being with us. Hi, thank you, it's a pleasure. But before we start the interview, let's listen how Julia interpreted one of her father's well-loved songs. Tylko ta woń zaworskich roślin Przyjęcie w domu burżua Fortepian gada miłości Wirują fraki w trzecim pa Walce naiwna Francja Zmętna szelest w nori Pakla szmin Tylko wilgotne Brudne piętra, tylko spowiały góry ty. Tylko słoneczne sny kochanków, coraz jaśniejsze z każdym dniem. Paryski bulwar o poranku nad przerażonym miastem knie. Julia, you are a member of a jury giving an Gintrowski Award. And this award is given already since three years. And also this year, there are, going to, there are people already nominated. And hopefully during the concert, something will be left after us. One of the persons, one of the person of culture will be awarded with this, with his award. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you like it? Yeah, definitely. It's very important to give uh, a prize of my dad. Um, of my dad, the prize is about uh, the freedom in the culture. So it's about what my father fight actually during PRO, and. Uh, I think it's very important to show young people the way we should uh, use culture actually to promote this freedom, especially when we nowadays take a lot of freedom. <laughs> you mean that nowadays we, we have a lot of freedom to use in a different ways, but the one which, for example, your father and Kaczmarski and Wapinski fought for, we have it, but we not always use it the best way, do we? You know, it's for <laughs> questions to other people. Uh, yeah, we. I think the problem is that we don't, the not freedom, when we don't have freedom, it feels like. And this is the main problem. And tell us who were the prize winners so far? So, so obviously, you cannot. Uh, yeah. Give us the secret who is going to be winner <laughs> no, this year. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but um, the first year we had uh, three actually uh, prize winners: Stanisława Celińska, uh, Antonina Krzysztoń, and Polkowski. Uh, so this was the first year. The second year was very close, actually, a friend of my dad, Eva Błaszczyk. Uh, Which she is an, an actress, a singer, and also... Yes, she actually uh, sang on the first concert with us, so yeah, she's an amazing woman. And last year it was Stanisław Pieczka. So a very already actor with yes, huge history, huge history. Who played in almost every important movie. Yeah, <laughs> it was very touching because he actually is a... Yeah, he did so many things and, you know, I think it's important to him to, you know, to be nominated. And if, because he knew your father and we of course know him through uh, his music, we know him through his, what he did with his songs, but, and what he was interested in, but as if you tell, what he most treasured and in artists, what was the most important for him in artists? I think the 
originality, authenticity, this freedom, going your path. He very disagree when someone doesn't have its own opinion. Uh, it was he had a very concrete uh, system of values, and he liked persons who have self confidence, who know what they want to do. Yeah. And if he were in the jury, what do you know? Maybe if he would, what would be his choices? For example. <laughs> Uh, I think the first um, prize would be all the time for speaking of <laughs> uh, Herbert. For Herbert, yeah. Yeah, but... speaking of Herbert, definitely. He loved him, like his poetry. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, he was... but Herbert is not alive, so we cannot yeah, really it's give him an it's award. Now it's hard to, for me to choose one person from alive <laughs> people. But could you tell us more about uh, his relationship with Herbert then? Because it was pretty special. Have you yourself ever met Herbert? No, no, no. Actually, I was too small. He, yes. I, I, I don't remember, but I think he died in 2001. Yes, I think so. Yeah, so I had three years, actually. So even though I could, I could met him, but I don't remember. I wouldn't remember that. So that's the problem. Actually, my dad didn't meet him a lot of times. He loved actually meetings with him because he was a very specific person and he had his funny stories with him. <laughs> Tell us one funny story for the ending. He told uh, about this all the time when uh, once he gave him a postcard uh, where he writes the songwriter of uh, Kintrowski. So Herbert, our great poet, who actually should get Nobel Prize, finished the postcard to your dad, that he's a songwriter of Przemysław Kintrowski. He didn't win a... He didn't win the Nobel Prize, but he... He didn't, yeah. There's but a my huge dad debate was he... very upset. But he should win. <laughs> Why he didn't? He was upset about that. So we could dedicate this episode to Herbert as one of our greatest poets. And thank you for watching Poland Daily Culture.